On October 4, our land's own John Clauser and Anton Zeelinger were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for proving that the universe isn't locally real. What I love about this story is that it showcases some of the smartest people ever being confused, ultimately proving Einstein wrong, something that doesn't happen often. The idea of locally real consists of two concepts, locality, which suggests that things are only affected by their local environment, you can't flick a switch in another galaxy and instantly see the results here because nothing, not even information, can travel faster than light, and realness, which is more challenging to explain and the focus of the Nobel Prize. The concept of reality can be traced back to the 1930s when there were two paradigms about the physics of small particles like atoms and photons. Einstein and many others believed that the universe is real, meaning particles have definite properties regardless of measurement, like the classic if a tree falls in the forest scenario. In contrast, anti-realists, championed by figures like Bohr, argued that particles don't have definite properties until measured, existing in a wave function of possible states. This leads to the famous thought experiment of Schrödinger's cat, which is both alive and dead until observed. Einstein's problem with quantum mechanics culminated in the EPR paper, which proposed a thought experiment highlighting that quantum mechanics might be incomplete or even fundamentally wrong. This thought experiment revolved around entanglement, the idea that the properties of two particles can be inherently related. They argued that if one particle is measured and found to be moving in a specific direction, the other must move in the opposite direction to conserve momentum. If you find one particle spinning a certain way, the other must spin the opposite way. This idea raised questions about how one particle could instantaneously communicate with its counterpart, violating locality if information traveled faster than light. Einstein believed that particles must have predetermined properties, he called this hidden variables, arguing that quantum mechanics was incomplete. For about 30 years, physicists were divided, some sided with Einstein, while others supported Bohr, as there was no strong counterargument to the EPR paper. The breakthrough came in 1964 when John Bell proposed Bell's theorem, which sought to determine whether hidden variables existed or if quantum mechanics was fundamentally real. This idea relied on measuring quantum objects, particularly photons. Photons possess a property called polarization, which describes the orientation of their wave oscillations. To measure a photon's polarization, you would use a polarizer that allows only specific orientations of light to pass through. If you pass randomly polarized light through two polarizers aligned at 90 degrees, you expect no light to reach the detector. However, placing a third polarizer in between can allow some light to pass through, illustrating that measuring a particle changes its state. At this point, physicists needed to conduct actual experimental measurements. One of the early elegant extensions of Bell's theorem was the CHSH inequality, developed by Clauser and others. Their experiment involved two entangled photons sent in opposite directions to two observers, Alice and Bob. By randomly rotating their polarizers and recording the photons, they aimed to count how often Alice and Bob agreed on whether they observed a photon. If Alice and Bob's polarizers were perfectly anti-aligned, they would always agree on whether they saw a photon. If aligned, one should see a photon while the other should not. The interesting part occurs at angles in between, if the universe is real and photons independent, the rate of agreement should change linearly. If not, a higher rate of coincidences would suggest a deeper connection between the particles. In 1972, John Clauser built the first experimental setup capable of conducting this measurement. His results matched the predictions of quantum mechanics, proving that the universe isn't locally real and that Einstein's deterministic view was incorrect. The other Nobel recipients, Alain Aspect and Anton Zeelinger, closed significant loopholes in this research and demonstrated that quantum entanglement can be transferred in a process called quantum teleportation. This illustrates that the universe is indeed stranger than even Einstein imagined. These phenomena underpin the modern quantum computing revolution, suggesting that quantum computers may eventually outperform classical computers. While this doesn't mean that people can communicate faster than light, it highlights the inherent randomness in quantum mechanics. Each photon will either pass through a polarizer or not, and the states of particles are impossible to know until measured. Thus, Einstein's principle that the speed of light is a fundamental limit in the universe remains intact.